Item number SPC-169 Object Class Megalodon Shark Punching Contingencies Due to its immense size, direct punching of SPC-169 will prove impractical. As such, Project Ahab has been established for the full-scale puzzleization of SPC-169. Project Ahab consists of simultaneous Dreadnought-class punchery from five separate sources in the southern Atlantic Ocean. Ahab-1 Fist of Neptune 50 satellites currently located in stationary orbit over critical points of SPC-169's anatomy. These satellites are capable of releasing 100 kg tungsten osmium sculptures of fists in the Earth's atmosphere, which will use the natural acceleration of Earth's gravity to punch SPC-169 at terminal velocity. Ahab-2 Fist of Triton 10 volleys of 20 intercontinental ballistic missiles modified for shark punching purposes with kaiju gray doomfist tips. Ahab 3 Fist of Calypso Two stage operation in which Megara 277 EA 92R, a van sized asteroid in an L 4 orbit around the Earth, is 1. implanted with several boxing gloves, and 2. magnetized directly into SPC 169. Ahab-4 Fist of Cthulhu 500 modified drilling rigs will be installed on the exterior of SPC-169 for the purpose of applying continuous punching action over the course of several years. Ahab-5 Fist of Nemo will be trained in bare-knuckle boxing techniques and summoned to challenge SPC-169 to fisticuffs. Description. SPC-169 is the largest shark ever encountered by the Shark Punching Center, believed to be between 2,000 and 8,000 km in length. Radar analysis has detected a hardened outer carapace, indications of a state of dormancy, and unfortunately, a complete lack of exterior indications of punching. SPC-169 is believed to have existed since the Precambrian era. Due to the ethical ramifications of a shark having remained unpunched for that long, Project Ahab is to be executed as soon as possible. Addendum 1 Shark Identification Discrepancies Begin Log Dr. Swayze Sir, we have reason to believe that SPC-169 is not a shark. Administrator Explain SPC-169 has an exoskeleton, as well as multiple set of limbs and feelers. In truth, I believe SPC-169 to be a very large arthropod. Interesting. Tell me, is SPC-169 located in the ocean? Yes? Is it larger than a dolphin? <sighs> yes. Does it have lots of pointy parts that could potentially be dangerous? Then it's a shark. This is entry-level shark spotting. You really should know better at this point. Sir, with all due respect, by that logic, sperm whales, orcas, and narwhals could also be called sharks. Oh god. No! End log. Following this meeting, an emergency initiative was established for the investigation and immediate punching of SPC-170, Moby Dick Sharks, SPC-171, Free Willy Sharks, and SPC-172, Sword Sharks? Addendum 2 Ethics Committee Review Began log. Dr. Balboa. We've been going over the agenda for Project Ahab, and I think we need to step up the lethality. On what grounds? If we were to punch this shark and we did not kill it, I'm fairly certain it, it enraged awakening will potentially cause irreversible damage to human civilization. But would it be punched? Well, the human race would go extinct, but yes, SPC-169 would be punched. Look. Whatever the fine print says, our job is done once the fist is in the shark's bitch face. Forgive me if I fail to see how the most punchable shark in our organization's history is generating so much nitpicking. End log.